Hello viewers, this is Dr. Alok Chajed welcoming you once again to Already Lit, a channel that brings to you insights into the world of personal finance, investments and economy in the simplest manner. In this video, I will share a personal incident of my life, an incident which took place 10 years ago, July 2010 to be precise, and an incident that has caused me a lot of pain time and again since then. And I am sharing this with you because I do not want you to undergo the same pain. Any guess what the incident was? The incident was me buying a home. Yes, you heard that right. It was me buying a home. An incident that should have been an achievement in normal scenario. But unfortunately for me, it isn't so. Want to know why? I will tell you. It was in early 2010 that my family decided to buy a house. We were a typical middle class family with my dad running a small business and me uh, just started my career, early career in financial services industry. We were a family of five back then with my mother and my wife managing the home and I had a lovely two year old son. When we did a little bit of discussion, we figured out that we will be comfortable buying a house of around 35 lakh or so. When we started hunting for a house, we realized that we may not get the house what we wanted within our budget. Now, sounds pretty familiar? Yes, that's what happens with most of us. One day we were just going somewhere and we saw a real estate agent shop on our way and we just stopped by and asked them casually if there was any property in the vicinity within our budget range. He said there was a property but slightly beyond our budget and we should definitely have a look at the property once because it does not cost anything to check the property. The house was extremely good. Yeah? It's very, very good property. But there was a slight problem. It was out of our budget. The house was priced at 60 lakh rupees. While we were mentally prepared to overshoot our budget, this was extremely high. But the house was great and my dad had made up his mind that this was the property he wanted to own. He asked me to go to a bank to check my loan eligibility. The bank offered me a loan of 37 and a half lakh rupees. And I had around 5 lakh rupees of savings from my first years, first five years, you know, I, had, I started working in 2004. So first five, five and a half years of working, I had around 5 lakh rupees. That still left us with a requirement of 20 to 22 lakhs, considering that we will need some money for a housewarming function and basic furnishing. My dad had savings of around 10 lakh rupees and he borrowed another 8 lakh rupees from his friends and we bought the house. There was a sense of achievement for the entire family. We had a house of our own. My dad was extremely proud because it was his dream to have a own house. A dream which many of you also may have. Along with the house, we also had you know, bought something to, with us. We had bought huge loans. We had to pay these loans. Within the next two years, we cleared the loans taken from friends, the right approach. Now, this meant me not being able to save any money because the focus rightly was on clearing the existing loans. While this was happening on one side, my EMI with the bank was being paid as per schedule. My EMI was 33,279 rupees when I took the loan. This was when my take home salary was approximately rupees 50,000. Within the next 18 months, due to increase in interest rates, my EMI increased from 33,279 to 39,454. Now, this was not all. I also purchased the car after six months of buying a house because my second hand 15 year old Maruti 800 didn't you know, fit in the scheme of things with my new house. This meant an additional EMI of 9,600 rupees for the next three years. I had switched job too and my salary had increased to 61,000 per month. And I was also blessed with my second child in 2012. I could not save a single rupee between December 2010 when I purchased the car and November 2013 because two EMIs. And by the time my car EMI had ended, my expenses had increased because of education of my kid. This meant further lower savings. I complicated things further by quitting my corporate career in 2011 in pursuit of my passion to teaching. Now, this meant compromising on income for the next couple of years. 
overall the most disastrous period of my life from money point of view i was very happy doing what i love to do a wonderful family but my finances suffered so what was my mistake was it buying a house was it fulfilling my father's dream while it may not make sense financially to buy a house on loan the psychological peace of mind it brings cannot be compensated with any kind of financial wisdom so buying a house was not a mistake at all but there were a few mistakes in what i have told you so far i want you to know these mistakes so that you do not make them first mistake i overshot my budget we all do yes but i overshot it way beyond my means when i started paying my emi it constituted over 65% of my income now this is extremely high and at any point of time your emi should not exceed 40% of your income that's a max remember this when you are planning to buy your house the second mistake was to add another loan immediately after buying a house this ensured no savings even after an increase in my salary I urge you not to make this mistake. Do not add to your loans when your existing burden itself is too heavy. The third mistake was I did not anticipate a change in interest rate and hence I did not anticipate an increase in EMI. The increase in EMI took away any hope of saving any money. If you are looking to buy a house in the next few months, be prepared for the same scenario. currently interest rates are low but over the next 12 18 24 months you will see interest rate going up which will have a direct impact on your emis so factor an increase of 20% in your current emi when you are buying a new house the fourth mistake was the timing of my purchase i was early in my career still not settled just few years is what i had worked for as well as newly married and a young kid very very cute young kid to cater to this is the time when your expenses are still on the lower side and you should focus on saving the maximum at this point so i should have done the same focus on my savings i should have ideally bought the house after working for a decade have a substantial saving have clarity on all my other expenses i urge you not to do what i did This was my biggest financial planning mistake a mistake which i made because of my immaturity and ignorance i have made a couple of other mistakes too if you want me to share my other experiences do leave a comment on the video if you want to avoid any personal finance mistake and want to be on the right path to achieve financial freedom you may want to enroll for my financial freedom workshop a comprehensive workshop where you will not only learn how to be financially free but also chart your path to financial freedom there will be a lot of practical real time assignments based on your situation and you will have a lot of activities where it will help you to understand what's the path you should take to be financially free if you want me to continue making content like this do like and share the video and if you have not subscribed to my channel please do it right away Thank you happy learning